The following program is a production of HEW Entertainment, heard on the official website of HEW Entertainment. It's that time once again for HEW Entertainment Radio. And that's all I got to say about that. Hosted by Jonathan Clark. The beat! The man! You gotta beat the man! Whoa! Be sure to join us in the live chat room during the show. Hulkamania is running wild like it's never ran before. Call us on one of our request lines. If you live in the United States, call us at 1641-985-7800, box number 3729288. If you're from Canada and would like to call us, call us from 1647-724-4194, box number 3729288. Long distance charges may apply in some areas. I've been the World Heavyweight Champion 10 times. Or you can always drop us a line at MySpace, myspace.com backslash H-E-W Entertainment. And you will rest in peace. Emailing us works for you too. Email us H-E-W Wrestling at Hotmail.com. I am a wrestling god. J-B-L. J-B-L. And now, without any further ado, here is your host of HEW Entertainment Radio on the official website of HEW Entertainment, Jonathan Clark. The champ is here! Streaming live on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. HW Entertainment Radio is inviting you to comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. Comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. So what are you waiting for? Log on and listen now.
I'm your host Jonathan Clark and the headline I chose for this week's video on our YouTube channel was how obvious because I don't think we've ever had a more obvious outcome to a title unification match that's taken place on a WWE pay-per-view or show in years. Randy Orton and John Cena at TLC had one of the most predictable outcomes of all time. I knew heading into this match weeks prior that Randy Orton was going to come out of it as your unified champion and obviously he's going to remain unified champion until at least WrestleMania 30. Now the main event for the Royal Rumble is obviously going to be a three-way match. The first challenge for the undisputed champion to have to overcome against John Cena and Daniel Bryan because Daniel Bryan has never been defeated in a one-on-one -on -one match by Randy Orton. And you have John Cena who's been chasing after that championship that Randy Orton has held for a while now, at least a couple of months. So it's going to come to a climax at the Royal Rumble. That's obviously the main event that's been set aside in a little over a month's time from now. And I want to know what your prediction is uh, for the triple threat match at the Royal Rumble. You can let me know on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Entertainment, on our Twitter at JonathanClark1 and on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash JonathanClark22 with over 1,000 video archives and 24,000 channel views. But I want to switch gears and talk a little bit about the TLC match from this past Sunday's TLC pay-per-view. I mean, you couldn't have celebrated the legacy of both championships more effectively than by having this match, and I think the right person uh, won this TLC match because I think that John Cena is one of the most overrated individuals in WWE history and I've said that many times in the past because it's true. I am not going to deny that I hate John Cena. That's one thing that I'm not going to do as a radio show host and columnist and I've despised Randy Orton in earlier years of when I was a radio show host and columnist but not so much now uh, because of how Randy Orton has been kind of put on the back burner for far long enough in my opinion and this push that he's receiving now is both the WWE and World Heavyweight Champion champions is well overdue and I'm enjoying uh, seeing Randy Orton on top of the WWE and I'm hoping uh, it'll remain that way until WrestleMania 30 regardless of who he loses that championship to John Cena, Daniel Bryan, even The Undertaker or The Rock, whoever he loses the championship to, new talent, the initiative superstar or legend. I think that Randy Orton is a deserving WWE Unified Champion and he's one of the greatest champions of all time. I said that for a previous video blog here on our YouTube channel. I stated that Randy Orton was the greatest WWE Champion of all time and he's going to be the greatest WWE World Heavyweight Champion of all time after holding the WWE and World Heavyweight Championships a total combination of over 11 or 12 times throughout his illustrious career, defeating everyone from The Undertaker to John Cena in matches over the years and he has garnered a reputation that's going to be very difficult to surpass for years in the WWE. He surpassed the legacy of his father. He's a third generation WWE superstar, a 2009 Royal Rumble winner, a Money in the Bank recipient from earlier this year. He's cashed in the Money in the Bank successfully to win the WWE Championship for a record 10th time since winning it for a 10th time. He's won an 11th time in his career. I think he's up to 11 reigns now as WWE Champion, former Intercontinental Champion, Tag Team Champion. He's done it all. So why not give him the WWE World Heavyweight Championship? It is a reprieve, if anything, from always seeing John Cena on top. I mean, how many times do you turn on WWE and you always see John Cena as either the WWE Champion or the World Champion? And if he's not the WWE Champion, he's the World Champion. If he's not the World Champion, he's the WWE Champion. When he loses a championship, it's only to regain a championship from a brand that he previously lost the title on. It makes me sick and it's really pathetic.